What's up everyone, Dapper here, and we're back playing some more Marble World. Today, we are going to be making an elevator that's hopefully better than the stock elevator that comes with this game. But before we get started, I notice only a small percentage of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. As you can see, I made this beautiful chart showing that 77.7% .7 of you who watch my videos aren't subscribed. So do me a favor, if you like today's video, please consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind later. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. All right, so today we are gonna be reinventing the elevator. Now they already have elevators in the game, but they're so slow. They're incredibly slow, they take forever. So we are gonna be trying to create something that's much faster and this is, wait, what? How did the marbles get into these two holes? That's weird. Anyway, so we're gonna be making our own custom elevator and hopefully it's gonna be much, much faster than this. And we might even do a comparison, <laughs> but I mean, uh, I don't think it'll even be close. So I had this idea to once again use these loop tracks. But instead of using it, you know, like you would normally use it, have the marbles go through, we're actually gonna turn it 90 degrees, something like that. And then we are going to stack them up on each other, something like that, so that they kind of corkscrew their way all the way up the elevator. So I thought that'd be pretty cool. Uh, we'd line this with boosters and hopefully they can make it all the way to the top uh, depending on how tall we make this. Actually, you know what? We might just make it from the floor to the ceiling and see what happens. Uh, the only thing I am worried about is getting the marbles from a horizontal position and I put it all the way over there, that's fine. I'm just gonna drag it over here. Getting the, the marbles from a horizontal position like this up to riding the wall. So I got a couple ideas and how we can do that. I'm probably just gonna end up using uh, the curved pipe piece. I'm hoping if we turn this 90 degrees, I'm hoping that when the marbles roll down this, they kind of roll up the wall and then hopefully we can get some kind of transition going on that. But we'll get there when we get there. Uh, first of all, I'm going to put one of these on the floor. We'll do something like this. I guess we'll move it over by the door. I never really do anything over by this door. All right, so now we have our little corkscrew chilling down by the floor, by the door. <laughs> Didn't mean to rhyme that, but it works. Anyway, now we're just gonna copy paste this. Uh, I'm actually gonna turn off snapping so we can line it up good. So the marbles are gonna be coming off this track. So we actually need to bring this down to a about there. I actually might need to turn off the grid for this because as you can see, we got kind of like a gap. I know it's kind of hard to see, but oh, it, it actually blurs when you get that close. What the heck? Uh, so yeah, they might smack this and kind of bounce out, which I don't want to happen. So I'm gonna just move it like this. Something like that should work. I don't think they'll get caught on this and shoot out. They might, but this is pretty much lined up. I was hoping it'd be more of a corkscrew. Oh, wait a minute. We're not, it's not even. Um, I don't think this is perfectly 90 degrees. Hold on. Are we angled a little bit? Hold on, let me place a new one. Okay, so I hope that's straight. Let's try this again. All right, yeah, let's just roll with it. All right, now I'm just gonna copy paste both of these. See if this lines up, pretty much does. Perfect, and then we can just kind of do this all the way to the ceiling. All right, so now we are completely at the ceiling. We're going into the ceiling a little bit. I don't know if we, we don't need to go all the way up here. All right, so perfect. So here is the start of our elevator. It kind of corkscrews all the way up. So now all we have to do is start lining the boosters. So I'm gonna go to my decorations and physics here. Okay, we have our first booster and now all I have to do is the same thing, but angle them about 30 more times. <laughs> I say 30 because uh, I'm hoping that I can just make a little loop here. And as soon as I get to about this point, I can just copy paste them all and then copy paste all the way up. So hopefully that works. Okay, so I have painfully placed a bunch of boosters here. Uh, it took a while, but hopefully I can just copy paste all these now. So I'm just gonna grab them one by one. Okay. Now that I have all the boosters that I want, I'm gonna copy paste. There we go. And something like that, perfect. Now I just have to do this like 12 more times, maybe more, all the way to the top. 
Okay, so all the boosters are now placed. Uh, uh, I'm actually going to angle this one a little bit straighter. Perfect. All right, and it looks pretty good. And I'm just now realizing I definitely should have painted the track before doing all this. So now I'm going to go back and paint everything. All right, here we go. I think the rainbow color looks pretty good. So I'm going to do that on the inside all the way down. All right, that's it. It's all painted. Looks really good. Hopefully this works. Uh, I don't know 100% if this is going to work just yet. So let's go ahead and do that now. We're going to do a little bit of testing. Okay, so in order to test this, I'm just going to throw one of these curve pieces on. We'll rotate it real quick. There we go. And now I'm going to attach a straight pipe piece. And uh, let's go ahead and test this out. Actually, that's probably a problem <laughs> let me move this whole thing and then test it out all right 180 marbles open the gates let them fly oh <laughs> oh oh okay uh so <laughs> that doesn't work at all so i am gonna put a booster right about here and see what that does all right, let's try this one more time. Okay, look at that. There they go. Oh my gosh. So this works, kind of. Okay, I think, yeah, we lose a lot of marbles right here. Actually, not that many. Okay, so we just need to make a fix for that. All right, so I think I'm just going to close this area in to start off. And uh, I guess we'll go from there. Okay, so we're back and I've done some work here. So I have closed this area off for the most part. I don't think any marbles can escape. I tried to cover up all the holes. They might be able to get through there. I don't know. But I also put this like block in the way. So I'm hoping with this booster here, it kind of shoots them all out and makes them go up the wall. So we're going to test that right now. <laughs> Okay, so we still lose a couple marbles. It's so awesome how that works, though. <laughs> I'm not used to things just working. Okay, so I have an idea to get all the marbles up on the wall. I think we're just going to add some boosters. Something like this. Although I need to flip that around. Now I'm going to copy and paste this. And that's so we can get some spinning action. So we're basically going to turn this bottom here into a blender. I should center this, though. That looks good. Now I'm going to copy paste both of these and we'll do that. But we'll also do the corners here just to be safe. Okay, so this should act like a blender now. Wow, that looks pretty cool. Oh my gosh, if we could get like a marble stuck right in the center, I wonder if it'll just spin. That'd be cool. Anyway, let's go ahead and test this now. I think it worked. I don't think we lost anything. Oh, okay, so we are losing a couple out the sides. So they're kind of just glitching through, I think. So I'm gonna I'm gonna turn these all down. We'll put them at like 10. Hopefully it still does the job. Okay, so I don't see any escaping. Oh, one flew out. Hold on. Get rid of all the marbles here. Let's try this again. Oh, one might have flown through here. Or maybe you just came off the bed. I don't know. It looks kind of good. Let's go to the top and check this out. Let's like stress test it. Let's see how this looks. Whoa, that's so cool. What the heck? Wow, that's awesome. They all come up so fast too. We might even be able to turn these boosters down. Because this is like a fast elevator. Holy cow. Oh, one got stuck. What the heck? Oh. Alright. It got stuck, but it fell and made its way back up. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so... Wow, this still isn't centered. That's gonna bother me, I feel like. Alright, let's actually stress test it. Oh my gosh, lag. Wow, this thing is really fast, though. That's slow motion. Look how fast they go. They just shoot out. Man, this is like a kaleidoscope. This is crazy. I'm going to do this one more time just because I love the look of it. 
All right, and we'll slow it down. What the heck? This is like a crazy kaleidoscope. Wow, that one just like bounced and jumped out. That was crazy. Oh, look at that white one. Jumping back and forth. Man, it's like cheating. It's cutting in line. Wow, I could probably watch this all day. This is crazy. Hold on, let's go down. See what's happening. Okay. All right, so they stack up on each other a little bit. That's cool. I didn't expect them to have this like line. There's like a line of marbles. I don't know. I guess I expected them to use the whole walls and not just the like a single file type of thing. But it's still cool. Okay, so now I need to make a way for these to eject. I think I'm gonna do the same thing that I did down there. I'm just gonna use like a pipe, a curved pipe or something. But this is looking good. This is looking real good. It's working perfectly. I don't think any marbles get left behind. I am gonna fast forward and I'm just gonna go check real quick. Wow, this is so trippy. Yeah, I don't think any marbles got left behind. I think we're good, unless one got stuck in here. Oh, one can only hope. <laughs> All right, perfect. So I think I'm just gonna paint this up real quick because it kind of looks really bad. Maybe we paint this like blue or something. That looks good. Oh, I just noticed we've got wood paints and we've got plastic paints. Interesting. Plastic looks like way more shiny, way more vibrant. And then that just, you can see the like the wood grains. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's paint the track too while we're at it. There we go. Looking good. Looking good. Okay, let's delete all the marbles. And now let's try to make like a curve piece up here to kind of catch them all. Okay, so that looks good. I think all the marbles will kind of fly into there. Actually, I'm gonna move it over. Well, I'm gonna turn off snapping first. I'm gonna move it over slightly and down because they all come out like right here. So something like that. I'm also gonna kind of move it in a little bit too. Cause I don't want them to like go down there. They still might, but hopefully there's less of a chance of that happening. Now I'm gonna like tilt it down a little bit. All right. Let's paint this real fast, and then let's see if all the marbles make it out. What should we paint it? Orange? Yeah, orange looks fine. Maybe purple. Oh, I'm on like fast motion here. And they're so fast. I might see if I can turn this down. All right, boost strength 10. What happens? And go. Okay, it's definitely slower, that's for sure. It looks kind of cool still. Like, it looks like it's still working. I don't know. There's a lot of marbles down there. Only a few are making it up at a time. So maybe 10. Yeah, maybe 10 isn't such a good idea. Look, we got, we're got we losing a lot here. And I admit, these probably aren't lined up the best. But yeah, I think we should just do 20 to be on the safe side. Or 15. Maybe we dial it up just a little bit. As I kill my frames here while I'm trying to grab all the boosters. While the marbles are going, that's probably smart. Let's delete the marbles. Now let's go 15, see what happens. Okay, 15 seems to be pretty good. Not gonna lie. I'm spawning like a crazy amount of marbles now. I'm definitely gonna drop my frames. There they go. Now we're going in slow motion. God, that looks so cool. Look at the little single file lines they go in. This is crazy. Oh, look, they're stacking up a lot more down here anyway. I guess by the time they reach the top, they're no longer stacked. This is crazy. Oh my gosh, look at all the chaos that's happening down here. Marbles bouncing all over the place. They're jumping tracks. Some of them are falling down. Oh, that one's going to fall too. Wow. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot more chaotic in here than I thought <laughs> originally. I mean, up at the top, they look so like, uniform. Like, they're all coming out. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, since we've made the main feature, um, I don't think if I just made a normal track, that would be very interesting. So I kind of want to test something else out. I want to see if we can make this elevator go sideways. So yeah, I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, I think this will work going sideways, but you know, it, it'd be fun to test it out. Uh, so yeah, if we go from here all the way over to the windows, I think that'd be pretty sweet. So I'm going to start setting up a track off of this. Okay, so here I have my track, and I've painted it up a little bit. I used a lot of PVC colors, except for the orange. So 
the orange looks really weird for some reason. So if I made that orange, you see that? It's like, it's not as bright and vibrant as the other ones, but when it's wood, it's a little bit brighter. So only the orange is wood colored. Anyway, I think this is a good spot to start setting up the sideways elevator. <laughs> I don't, I mean, if it's going sideways, I don't think you can really call it an elevator anymore. But uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna set this up going sideways. So basically I'm just gonna take a couple pieces of this and copy paste. Okay, so here we have it. I have copy pasted this a bunch of times and check this out. Oh my gosh, that's so trippy. What the heck? <laughs> oh man, I should make like a super duper tall one of these. <laughs> that was the weirdest thing I've ever said, I think. I should make this super tall. That'd be crazy. And just kind of go down it while all the marbles are spinning. That'd be insane. I don't know, it might, it might lag out my PC. This might be good enough. But yeah, let's go ahead and test it out and see if sideways elevator, <laughs> whatever this is now, sideways works. <laughs> All right, here we go. So let's start at the top of the elevator. We'll put our speed to normal and we will put a couple waves in. Oh, we're losing a couple down there. I don't know how, but it should be fine. Oh, we're losing some up here too. They're kind of blasting out. That's fine though. I really want to see the sideways one. So here we go. Let's slow down my camera speed. Look at that. That's crazy. They're going so fast. What the heck? Yeah, this is crazy. I'm definitely probably going to use this elevator in the future. It's definitely better than my pipe elevator if you've seen uh, my last furniture marble run <laughs> uh the pipe elevator's got nothing on this one. Oh wow they came through already that's crazy that was a lot of waves i put like four waves through yeah like look how fast that is i just spawned these a couple seconds ago and they're already whipping out of there all right they're starting to come down and this thing is like a crazy kaleidoscope like look at all the colors in there what the heck Wow, they fly through here. Let's slow this down. Oh my gosh. That is nuts. Whoa. This could be like a computer background or something. You were able to like sync it up and just put it on repeat. That'd be really cool. Look at that. Man, I could like literally sit here and watch this all day. This is nuts. Oh man, I love this. This is great. Something actually worked out pretty well for once. Uh, most of the time I struggle to make things work, but this just kind of worked right out of the gate. So that's really cool. Uh, I suppose if I do this again, I could line these up a little better. As you can see, a lot of them like hit the lips and they kind of fling around but other than that this is kind of perfect look at all the colors that's just insane absolutely insane well i suppose i should put a finish on this marble run um i guess throwing them behind the tv isn't the best ending so or maybe it is i don't know but I, guess, I suppose we could just build a little track here and bring it over to the box or something. <laughs> Let's do that real quick, just to finish it up. Okay, so I've made the track here. Uh, I, went... uh, I, made, I painted the PVC colors just because I think they look a lot better. Um, I added a bunch of side walls here as well because a lot, we were losing a lot of the marbles. They're kind of flying out. So anyway, uh, we ended it over here by the box. I just put like a little floating piece and the marbles kind of just shoot out, hit it, and drop down in the box. So hopefully we can fill that up a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and get this thing started. We're going to slow down time. And we're going to follow the marbles through. So they shoot through here, they make their way to the blender. Then they find their way to the side walls and they start filling up and going up the walls. Look at the, oh my gosh, this just looks so cool. Anyway, once they make their way to the top, 
we shoot about through here. We were losing a lot of marbles on the side here, so I kind of just covered that up as well. And uh, they kind of make their way down over here to the sideways loopy loops. <laughs> the sideways elevator. Whatever you want to call this thing. <laughs> and this thing is just so cool because it's so long. Anyway, they make their way around, and eventually they find themselves in the box, which none of them have made it here yet. That's really surprising. I guess it's because I have the time to slow down. So let's oops, let me get into position here. We'll speed it up here. Wow, they are whipping. They go so fast through here, it's nuts. But it's, it's still, it looks so cool. Anyway, they make their way down. And then they smack into this little uh, box. Oh, I guess that one didn't make it. Oh, well. And then they sort of just fill up this box. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm definitely probably going to use these elevators in the future. Uh, I really like this. This is pretty cool. Uh, however, um, I do want to try designing a different elevator. So there's one thing I don't like about this elevator. Uh, the fact that it's faster than a normal stock elevator is great. But they all come out like single file. So the fact that they come out one, two, and then eventually it'll fill itself up and a bunch will come out like a stream. But in the future, I might want to design an elevator that spits more marbles out at a time, if you know what I mean. So like a normal elevator will spit out the marbles in waves of like five and ten. The next thing I design, I want to be the same way, except not have the gaps between waves. So uh, hopefully we can make a pretty cool elevator that'll spit them all out basically at the same time so they're all grouped up instead of coming out like a stream like this. And this is just like a constant stream. <laughs> hopefully we can do something like that in the future. And hopefully you guys liked this episode. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to hit the subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. I can't live without you. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. I can't